Ladies and gentlemen, our long national nightmare is over. Football season is back. It is officially week one. We're officially in game week. Yeah. Practice today is all about preparing for North Dakota State. So, Unc, take us inside practice. What do we miss? Well, first, let me say this for the anal people out there. We understand it is week zero in college football, but it is week one for Colorado football. This is what would typically be Monday or Tuesday for us because we play on Thursday. We know it's Saturday, and we know college football is being played, but it's week one for us, and we had the week one press conference today. But practice, you know, uh, it's still those dog days of summer. It's still camp because you get 25 practices, and I think our 25th practice will literally be Wednesday. You can tell the guys are just ready to hit somebody else. You've been in meetings. You've been at practice. Just what is your read on how this team is preparing for NDSU on Thursday? Uh, I think the focus, uh, great question, Jay, because we did have scouting, scouting reports from the uh, position coaches this morning. I think the, the focus is still on us, not them. Uh, we understand uh, that what they have accomplished as a program, that they have been the giant killers out there before. But we also understand that we have depth and talent. We have talent and depth, like whichever way you want to cut it. And so the only way that we can be defeated is by defeating ourselves. So you see a lot of the coaches addressing pre-snap penalties, uh, execution, making sure you get into the sticks, knowing down and distance, not so much about what they're doing, but what we're going to do. Coach Prime always kind of turns it up a notch mm -hmm. come around game week. What is his kind of uh, demeanor like right now? Uh, the first words I said to him today, or he said to me today, was Neely, grab my phone. I stay away from him game week. <laughs> you know, when, you, when, you, when you get to what would be Tuesday or Wednesday, you leave him alone. Uh, and so he's been, he's been up there, man, just like you said. This is game week. He's more and more focused. There's less and less time for bull junk. His tolerance for bull junk decreases immensely. And so there's some things that you, I, Jake, would watch at practice and be like, no, that was fine. For him, it ain't fine. And so sometimes it may appear uh, that practice was a bad practice, but it's really his high standard when it comes to game week. Got to get an offensive line progress report. Just what have you seen there? Who's uh, out there in the first five? Uh, the usual suspects, Khalil Benson is back. Uh, you know, this is, uh, he was resting a while with the little uh, elbow ding, but he's 100% and he practiced today. And so he's going to be in that, that group that's out there. Uh, I think we, we know the names. You know, you go Tyler, uh, uh, Khalil, then you come around, there's, there's, there's a link there, uh, and, and then you fill it on out. Uh, for me, though, I think Coach Prime kind of said this when asked about the starters in the press conference, that he's not really big on who's starting because so many guys are going to get reps. Uh, so I think as that game progresses, that first unit may end up with just as many or even less snaps than people who come on after. I appreciate Coach Prime because he didn't like my question, but he still, he still gave a good answer. <laughs> he did. I was trying to remember, was it you that asked that? But it was. he was like, oh, man, starters, that's for y'all, you know. So that's, that's how it rolls around here. He's not big on that. Um, who stood out? Who stood out today? I'm, I'm going to go O-line. You know, I still love what I'm seeing amongst the O-line. Uh, I think it's one of those – all right, here's the football talk, and then I'm going to go anti-football talk. The coaches that tell you we don't have a depth chart, the coaches that tell you, like Coach Prime, we don't have a starter. These guys know, based on the reps and what they're doing, if they're the guy or not. But I think that O-line group is still that group where the guy who's sixth or seventh can move up to seventh or sixth or fifth. And so you see more tenacity there. I think the D-line is just chomping at the bit to hit somebody else. Like, they're aggressive out there. I like what I'm seeing, once again, from the linebackers. Like I said, uh, when we did the live show, uh, Jeremiah Brown, man, is looking good. Looking great. I do have one more question. Um, you know, a week and a half ago, last time we did one of these, you said, you know, it's kind of the last time to make a push for that too deep depth chart. Has yeah. anyone made a push that, in your mind to enter that too deep ahead of NDSU? Yeah, I would, I would, I would say so, but, but here's the rub. I think it's package related. Like Carter Stardemeyer, right? What about rub package? <laughs> I would love package to be rub. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that, please. Uh, but you take a Carter Stardemeyer. You know, he would be a guy if you just watch him practice with your naked eye, be like, okay, he has moved up. But he really hasn't moved up because he's going to be out there with the dime package and some nickel package stuff anyway. Uh, but he has really come on. He's over that injury psychologically and physically. So I'm looking for, like, guys like him to make a big impact. There you go. Week one is upon us, at least from a practice standpoint. T minus what, four days? Yep. Four days. Let's go. Can we give, can we give a shout-out? Can we give a shout-out? No. Yes, let's give a shout-out. <laughs> I love to admit when I'm wrong because it doesn't happen a lot. That's it? No. The shout-out okay. is this. 
first spring game, right? There's no way we were going to play that day. Mm -hmm. And then the grounds crew just blew the hell out of me. Not, yeah, Paul. <laughs> Paul. My goodness. Yeah. Holy they, I was just, I was shocked at what they were able to accomplish. There was a concert here just the other day with the stage going all the way out to like the 30 yard line. Man, they have come in here and resodded this field and we practiced on it just the other day. Folsom looks great. I was sitting right over there watching the concert with just teary eyes. <laughs> and now this is so beautiful, I might tear up again. Yeah, yeah. I, I was sitting there thinking there's no way you could pull this off. Why are we having a concert like days before a game? But they clearly knew what they were doing. Looks good. I don't know if I'm ready for week one yet because I was just holding the mic in front of me while you were talking for like <laughs> 10 seconds. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's turned up. Everyone's ready. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know if we're ready for week one because what did I say? You, uh, rub package. And then I was blowing, blowing the hell out of me. That's that's a new <laughs> that's one. All right. We got to stop this video right here. <laughs>